Hello and welcome to a new episode of Smarter by the Second. Today we are joined by none other than Quinten van Dongen. Yes, thank you for having me. Well, you're welcome. Oh, uh, I'm Quinten, candidate uh, internal affairs and uh, officer uh, educational affairs. Uh, I'm now in my third year of uh, my study and I hope I can finish it soon. Nice, okay. And uh, how is your candidate period going? Uh, it's going pretty well. I, I've met already a lot of people. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I, I like the other candidate boards. I already have like a good connection with Who's uh, your interactive. favorite other candidate? Uh, interactive or Proto? Proto also have a nice ah, people. Ah, yeah. they have a nice intern. Uh, yeah, the pro yeah, I, I saw him once uh, stripping at the gala. So oh, uh, I did, yeah, that, 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 that guy, yeah, that <laughs> guy. Yeah, nice. yeah, I like him uh, as well. Yeah. Ah, okay, but you are participating in arts and literature. Yes. Why? Uh, I, I was like, uh, what is the least popular choice as a category? And they said um, arts and literature. So I was like, yeah. fuck it, let's do it. How strong would you say you are in uh, uh, this category? Uh, not good, not good. But uh, I, I, I uh, am good at guessing, so I think that will help me uh, today. Okay, well, uh, let's hope. Okay, then we'll start with the first round. While the Louvre is famous for its extensive collection of French masterpieces, it also houses numerous exceptional works from various coaches around the world. Though this does not include Vincent van Gogh. If you want to see van Gogh, you have to go to Musée d'Orsay. Nevertheless, here are nine famous works in the Louvre that are not from French artists. So you will see a picture of the, of the work, it can be a painting or sculpture, and then you will have to, uh, well, guess the name correctly of the work. Okay. So we have the Winged Victory of Samothrace, I think it's pronounced like that. The Death of a Vir the Virgin. We have Psyche and Cupid. The Four Seasons. Laoko On. The Lace Maker. Saint Francis of Assisi receiving Stigmata. We have Venus of Milo and the Mon Mona Lisa. Are there uh, works you already recognize? Uh, I kind of recognize the Mona Lisa, I hope. Oh, Full it's a bit niche. Though, uh, yeah, a bit niche. I think I also uh, noticed. of Milo is very uh, famous as well. Uh, uh, maybe I will recognize this. Okay. I don't know. Yeah, maybe if you see the painting, then you'll say, ah, oh, okay, this looks like this. Okay. Okay, are you ready to start? Yes. You need five correct answers. I five correct say. answers, okay. Yeah, five uh, lifelines as well. So, if you have zero correct and you uh, just use five lifelines, you're also safe. But okay, okay. Okay, uh, let's start. Uh, pass. <laughs> Let's do the uh, lace maker. That's no, no, no. Winged Victory of Samothrace. Mona Lisa. Oh, this is the lace maker. Fuck. Uh. The Four Seasons. Psych and Cupid. Mm, Dead of the Virgin. Uh, oh fuck, this, uh, this seems like the <laughs> Winged Victory of Summer Trace. Okay, and then I have to do some switching. Uh, let's make the uh, first one Lacoon and the second one uh, Venus of Milo <laughs> and the third one Saint Francis of Assisi receiving stigma. Stop the time. Yeah. Okay. Now uh, you can. Uh, I have no idea how many you have correct now. <laughs> okay. Now you can also um, use lifelines. Okay. Yeah, I, I will use uh, three lifelines. Three. Yes. Yes. Okay, and that will cost you uh, 3 times 16, 48 seconds. Okay, yeah, that's fine for me. Okay, then we'll check the answers. So this is Venus of Milo, which she lost her arms. And then we have St. Francis of Assisi. Then this is the winged victory of Samothrace. I'm sorry. And then we have, of course, the Mona Lisa. Yeah, okay. Yes. <laughs> this is the lace maker. This one you d did switch uh, correctly. Then we have the Four Seasons. Then uh, Laoko On with his sons. 
Then we have Death of the Virgin. Oh. And then we have Psyche and Cupid. So, oh, okay. You did, uh, you did pretty okay, it. yeah. Now you only have two life. Okay, well, it's fine. You at it's least fine. at least you passed uh, the first round. Yes. You're off to a great start. Okay. Before the selfie or smartphones existed, you would have to make do with a self-portrait. Self-portraits have been fascinating and integral parts of artistic history, allowing artists to capture their own essence and explore the depths of their individuality. From ancient times to the present day, self-portraits have provided a window into the minds and souls of talented creators. So you will see a picture and then you will have to guess who painted the self-portrait. So you will... Okay. Yeah. I think I can manage. So we have Edward Munch, Pablo Picasso, Leonardo da Vinci, Vincent van Gogh, Frida Kahlo, Anthony van Dijk, Paul Gauguin, Rembrandt van Rijn and Salvador Dali. They are really famous painters. Yes, yes. I, I, I recognize the name. I recognize the names a lot. Yeah? Yeah. Which, who is your favorite painter? Uh, yeah, it doesn't have to be of this list. Yes, uh, my favorite painter, I think, is Rembrandt. Uh, yeah. Rembrandt? Yes, oh, yes. Nice, classic. Yeah, yeah, Dutch uh, painter. Okay, you need five correct answers as well. Now you only have two lifelines left. So you need at least three correct. Yes. Okay, um, let's start. Are you ready? Yes, I'm ready. Okay, then we'll start the round. Uh, Frida Kahlo. En toen hier van Dick. Zoveel uh, Dali. Ah, uh, probably Picasso. Oh no, this is Picasso, I think. And the last one, oh no, wait, wait, let's go first one. Uh, Rembrandt. Uh, Edward Munch. Uh, fuck, I'm bad with faces. Uh, Van Gogh. The fuck? Uh, Paul Kagan. Okay, and then you have uh, two open. Oh, what? Wait, fuck. I didn't recognize Da Vinci. Fuck. Uh, uh, Fill them in randomly. Yeah, you. <laughs> yeah just, uh, okay, do uh, Paul Coguet, switch with Da Vinci, and the last one, Paul Coguet. Stop oh, the time. This one is Paul Coguet? Yeah, no, no, oh. this, yeah, this one is Paul Coguet, the last one is, yeah, no, okay. no, Da Vinci. Okay. The then, uh... No, do you want to use lifelines? <laughs> yes, yes. <laughs> two, please. Two? two? Please. Okay. Oh my god, you don't have many seconds left. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> okay, then uh, let's check the answers. So, first we have your favorite painter. Oh, Rembrandt. Ah, yes, yes. <laughs> Love that guy. <laughs> then we have Leonardo da Vinci. And then we have Frida Kahlo, the only woman uh, in the list. Then this was Salvador Dali, also abstract, so I guess, but this is Picasso, so you had it correct. Yes, yes, yes. Then this is not uh, Rembrandt, this is uh, Van Gogh. Oh, yeah. With a typical style. Then we have Edward Munch. Or Munch. Then we have Anthony van Dijk. Oh. oh, and then we have Paul Gauguin. That's the last one, which means, oh yeah, that means you have passed, but it doesn't show on the thing. Yes, <laughs> let's you go, have passed let's go, let's go. <laughs> you have passed this round and you have uh, 65 uh, seconds over, zero lifelines. Okay, I got this. Okay, so two more rounds. Uh, do you feel confident? Uh, yes, yes. Okay, and let's go. These days, biopics have become really popular. Queen, Elton John and Elvis all got their own movies. But biopics are not just limited to musicians. The world of biopics is as diverse as the individuals they depict. From the grandeur of period dramas to the gritty realism of modern stories, biopics span across various eras, cultures and genres. They not only shed light on the exceptional achievements, but also delve into the complexities and intricacies of the human condition, capturing the essence of what it means to be human. So you will hear the description of the 
So, okay, so we have nine uh, biopics, so nine movies portraying uh, real life stories. Okay. I will describe the story or yeah, the movie, the, the plot of the movie, and you have to guess the title of the movie. <sighs> okay. So the movies are Zodiac, Green Book, The Pursuit of Happiness, The Wolf of Wall Street, Antouchable, Goodfellas, The Theory of Everything, The Imitation Game, and Eat, Pray, Love. Are you into movies? Uh, I'm, a, uh, I'm not really a movie guy, I have to admit. Not I like to watch, uh, watch shows a lot. Do you have a favorite movie or is it going to uh, be uh, like uh, your favorite painter? No, 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 no. My favorite movie, I think, is uh, overall uh, Up. Like with up. the, 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 Ooh, the, the good choice. Yeah, I watch it in cinemas. Well. Yeah, I really like that one. And also, I'm a huge Marvel fan. But as you oh. know, Marvel on here, yeah, it's uh, not looking that too well. That would be more a media question, I think. Yeah, indeed, indeed, indeed. Okay, but are you ready? Yes. Absolute, absolutely speed run this. Okay. Shall I do the descriptions quickly? Uh, yes, yes. Okay. Let's go. Then, the first movie. This film is about Jordan Belfort. It follows the rise and fall as a wealthy stockbroker. Uh, the Pursuit of Happiness. This drama follows a black pianist, Don Shirley, and his Italian-American driver, Tony Vallelonga, on a trip around the south of the USA. Uh, the Theory of Everything. This movie explores the brilliant mind of Stephen Hawking and captures his struggle with his motor neuron disease. Uh, let's do this, The Theory of Everything. This story is based on the life of Chris Gardner. He strives to become a successful businessman as a single father. Uh, Goodfellas. This movie is based on Elizabeth Gilbert's memoir, where she embarks on a journey to Italy, India and Bali after a painful divorce. Eat, pray, love. This film depicts the unlikely friendship between a wealthy, wealthy crippled man named Philippe and his caretaker Dries, uh, who comes from the Parisian banlieue. Uh, cream book. This story follows the life in the uh, mob of Henry Hill, showcasing br the brutality of the underworld. Uh, Zodiac. Set during World War II, this film shows the involvement uh, of Alan Turing. In touch of uh, then the Wolf of Wall Street, and then the uh, invitation game last on the... uh, Oh, okay. <laughs> Do you want to use Lifeline? Uh, yes, but I don't <laughs> have any. <laughs> okay. You know what? We're going to check them. Okay. Uh, you need six correct. Okay. Do you think you have six? <laughs> no. Okay. Okay. Let's do it. Now we can do the descriptions a little bit slower. This film is about Jordan Belfort. It follows his rise and fall as a wealthy stockbroker. It's The Wolf of Wall Street. It's by Leonardo DiCaprio. It's in the uh, place. Yeah, uh, yeah, I forgot to show you. Okay, so it doesn't matter. This drama follows black pianist Don Shirley and his Italian-American driver Tony Vallelonga on a trip around the south of the USA. That's Green Book. Then we have... This movie explores the brilliant mind of Stephen Hawking and captures his struggle with motor neuron disease. That is the theory of everything. The story is based on the life of Chris Gardner. He strives to become a successful businessman as a single father. Uh, played by Will Smith, it's uh, The Pursuit of Happiness. Mm. This movie is based on Elizabeth Gilbert's memoir where she embarks on her journey to Italy, India and Bali after a painful divorce. That is Eat, Pray, Love. Or oh, you're still safe. <laughs> this film depicts the unlikely friendship between a wealthy crippled man named Philippe and his caretaker Dries, who comes from the Parisian banlieue. That's Antouchable, the French film. Uh, this story uh, follows the life in the mobs of uh, Henry Hill, showcasing the brutality of the underworld. That's Goodfellas. And set during World War II, this film shows the involvement of Alan Turing in... Uh, decoding the German Enigma machine, that's an imitation game. And then lastly, this is based on the true story of the Zodiac Killer <laughs> who terrorized San Francisco in the late 1960s. That is, of course, Zodiac. Ooh. Almost. Uh, close. Close. Uh, I was close, I was close. Ah, uh, but to be fair, it's, uh, it's well, not your strong suit. No, no, indeed. It's very brave that you participate in this yeah, round. Thank you, thank and, you. And uh, of course, as a thank you, we have a not a clock. Oh, as a, no. As you come the intern, you get enough beer, so I <laughs> this crisp high five. Okay. Well, now we're on to the next participant. And we are back with our next candidate, Emil van der Veer. Hello, how are you doing? Hello, thank you. I'm doing fine. Uh, introduce yourself. Uh, well, uh, I'm again. <laughs> uh, well, wow. 
Uh, I'm uh, Emil. I am uh, a second year here and I'm now the candidate secretary um, for uh, Abacus. Nice. And I'm uh, excited. How is it going? It's, with the it's fine. I'm going fine. I What's hope. your favorite memory as a as a candidate board member? Uh, favorite many memory yet. Um, just becoming uh, ah, kind of the okay. board with everyone and just nice. having fun. And a wholesome moment. A very wholesome moment. Yeah. Uh, you participated last season in media and now you are back in the same category. Yes. Do you have unfinished business or? Uh... I'm gonna try to again not make a fool out of myself. Ah, okay. It was fine. You got to the last round. Uh, and now it's uh, four extra rounds. So it's a bit harder. But are you confident? No. Come on, Emil. <laughs> but I'm gonna you're, try. you're the future board. You have to be more confident. I'm extremely confident. Nice. I know okay. Then uh, let's start. Many of us have grown up watching our favorite celebrities on screen or listening to their music. But have you ever wondered what they were like as children? Before they became famous, they were just regular kids like everyone else, with their own unique personalities, interests, and quirks. Here are nine pictures of celebrities when they were small. Well, uh, it uh, describes itself. You will see a child pho photograph of a celebrity. You have to guess the name. So we have a Bruno Mars, Arnold Schwarzenegger, Donald Trump, Taylor Swift, Rihanna, Lady Gaga, Scarlett Johansson, Tom Cruise, and Brad Pitt. Um, are you okay? Oh God! <laughs> what? <laughs> Do you not know any celebrities? Or? This is uh, this is gonna be fun. Fun, but. Uh, Interesting. Do you recognize them? I, I Would you recognize them now if you saw If they're this? an adult, yes. Yeah. Uh, hopefully they look a bit like themselves as children. Uh, we'll see. Okay, <laughs> you hope. need uh, five correct answers. All right. And you have five uh, lifelines. So, um, let's start with the first one. Taylor Swift. Arnold Schwarzenegger, Tom Cruise, uh, Rihanna, Scarlett Johnson, uh, Trump, Lady Gaga, Bruno Mars, Oh god. Uh, Taylor Swift, why is it Taylor Swift? Brad Pitt, stop. Yeah, stop the time. Yeah, okay. Uh, you wanna use lifelines? Um, <laughs> we only need five uh, correct, so. Yeah, let's just use one. One? Okay, then. Uh, then 16 seconds will be deducted as well. Um, so the first one, we have Brad Pitt, then Arnold Schwarzenegger, Tom Cruise, Rihanna, Lady Gaga, so five correct already. Then we have Donald Trump, Scarlett Johansson, Bruno Mars, and finally Taylor Swift. Okay. okay. <laughs> nice. So you didn't need it, or you could have used it. No, it's fine. You didn't need it, need it. So it went very well. Apparently. Yeah, your uh, celebrity knowledge is uh, very wide. Thank you, thank you. Okay, on to the next round. Also for five correct answers. Music comes from all corners of the world. Some music is even confusingly called world music. This time we'll keep it close to home, however. Nine Dutch artists. So you will hear a song from Dutch artists. You have to guess. Who wrote the song? I will perform the song. So we have Anouk, Armin van Buren, Golden Earring, The Venga Boys, Kresip, Van Halen, Martin Garrix, Carol Emerald, and The Shocking Blue. All right. Do you know any of them? Yeah, but not all of them. Okay. Yeah, they're all Dutch artists. Well, Van Halen is Dutch American, but well counted. <laughs> Yeah, are you confident for this round or not? Definitely not. Oh, okay. What music do you listen to? Um, music that's not Dutch. Not Dutch. But it's the, the songs are all in English. 
Oh, okay. That so it's not that might help. That should. okay. Shall we start? Sure. Okay, let's start the round. Carol Emerald. Shocking Blue. Tenga Boys. Van Halen. Armen van Buren. Golden Earring. Shocking Blue. Why is it Shocking Blue aggressive? Martin Garrix. Anouk, stop. Okay. Oh, yeah. Do you want to use lifelines? <laughs> you need five, correct? I want to use two lifelines. Two? Okay, then uh, 32 seconds will be deducted and uh, we'll check the answers. So, the first song was uh, by Anouk. The second one was by Caro Emerald. The third one by Van Halen. The fourth one by Golden Earring. Then the fifth one was by Armin van Buren. And the next one was by The Shocking Blue. Then we had The Venga Boys. And the eighth one was Martin Garrix. And the final one was Kresip. And oh, this is where, unfortunately where your journey ends. Uh. I'm sorry. But thank you for participating anyway. We'll see you next season maybe. Uh, maybe. <laughs> and, uh, in media so as well. again. and uh usually we give a clock hit to our participants, but of course since you're the candidate uh secretary you can't be drunk while um, making minutes. So I'll offer you this uh, nice handshake. Thank you. Uh, thank you for coming. Thank you. Uh, uh this was it for today's episode.